Hi folks, I've noticed online that there's left-wing people who the tactics isn't to debate because they presumably have no debating skills or arguments so they seem to resort to just attacking people's personality and suggesting that they're really some sort of um, evil person. Now the person in the question is, it was, um, they did, there's an article called Who is Nigel Farage, by, led by donkeys. And there's another person who did one on um, that woman who was, um, does the trans things. Now, I'm not supportive of either, but unlike the, um, what I'd say, the slimy MPs who, you know, were, like when Nigel Farage lost his bank account, never spoke up because, you know, they don't believe in... De clearly defending people and always remember that folks when when it comes to elections um see who spoke up for farage because people who were his enemies who spoke up for him are the decent honest ones the ones who were against him but said it was wrong he should lose his bank account they're the honest people it's the ones that stayed silent who you know because MPs should be there to defend everyone, even people they don't like are politically on the other side, even if it means losing votes. They, they, that is what you should expect from an MP, the most basic things. If they don't do that, don't vote for them. They're not honest, good people. They're slimy. They're dishonest because they're not representing. They can't claim to, you know, they're biased, they're prejudiced, they, they don't clearly represent everyone. They're choosing to only represent certain people. And how can you trust them to defend you in times of trouble? No. Um, so I'm going to put this out very quickly. I will listen to this. Uh, I've, I've listened to a few of these. And they don't debate. They don't go through the points they make. They just go, oh, this is a right-wing person. And then they try and find... They go back over time trying to find... Maybe they are. It doesn't matter, actually, by the way, if they are. If, if somebody is an answer, I don't care. It doesn't make the points less valid. That's important. You debate the points, not what the background is. And in both cases, I don't think either person is an answer. But again, it's irrelevant. And just doing these slimy videos, is, it's quite telling. Um, it might actually, what... The, these are the tactics, by the way, of fascists. You slander all your, you know, people you dis, you don't agree with. You call them names. I think the, um, I think both the German socialists and the, and you know, USSR used to do these tactics. So instead of debating, they just slander and deface everyone, and scare people into silence. So scare people from not supporting or following the views. Um, yeah, I think it's just, it's the left wing to me acting, you know, ironically, quite pretending that they're anti-fascist when this to me is a technique I'd argue is resembling a fascist technique, a disturbing technique. Um, I mean, fair enough if that's what they want to do, but recognise it folks as what it is. It's just a way of trying to silence your enemies, people you disagree with, by trying to make out you're morally better than them, by trying to discourage, not discourage the points, not trying to discourage, you know, argue the debate, but trying to, you attack the personalities. That's wrong. That's shameful. This is why I'm not a socialist or a lefty, because I think that's the most, I think it's inhuman in many ways, a shameful tactic. I wouldn't do that. I believe everyone has the right to free speech. And I don't want to try and shut people down. I think it's it's unhealthy to do that. I think the ability to debate is the um, way forward. Just calling people names is... You've lost the argument. If, anyone, if you ever see somebody call someone else names like this, you know they're on the side of wrong. Anyway, that's me done. That's just a little quicker...